location of this fire. Aaron. Well, Dom, firefighters say that fire is under control. You can see there's still a little bit of activity out here tonight. Firefighters will be out here throughout the night. They say they still have to monitor some of those hot spots. Firefighters have been working for hours to stop the flames from this fire. It was really burning and it burnt fast. Larry Ramey has lived in the neighborhood for 40 years, but hasn't seen anything like what he saw today. Next thing I saw was fire trucks, ambulance, and everything else coming down. I looked down through the, out the back of the porch and black smoke was rolling up down the, through the woods. Firefighters say it started early this afternoon. The Katichi Mill, more than 100 years old, now charred remains. The way that part of the building collapsed actually fell in on top of itself. So we've got a lot of hidden pockets of fire up under the bottom. Deputies say the fire was so bad it destroyed two stories of this part of the mill. Most of it was storage. We're still looking into that. They say there was a furniture stored in the mill that's now a warehouse and it had a lot of wood flooring. The wood flooring having uh, oil type cleaners put on over the years, we did have a, a good bit of fuel load that caused it to burn pretty quickly and, and pretty hot. But for Ramey and his neighbors, this fire means a lot more. It's a big shock to me because, I mean, this has been my home, like I said, off and on for like 22 years. And without the mill, they say this quiet mill town just won't be the same. It's something that will be missed. I mean, it's sort of like, uh, you know, something of Katichi that's been here for years and now it's gone. Pickens County deputies do say that kids were seen around the mill at the time of the fire. We're still waiting on confirmation if there's a connection there or not. Live in Pickens County tonight, I'm Erin Rogers, 7 News.